Remarketing or retargeting, as it's commonly known as, is a powerful strategy that you must use whenever you advertise on Google if you want to be effective. So today I'll share the simple steps you need to take in order to launch remarketing ads that actually convert. Hey, time it. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. All right, so here we are in Google Ads, formerly known as Google AdWords. We're gonna go quick, so please don't blink. Let's go to Tools and Settings, go to Audience Manager, Audience Sources, and then we're gonna go to the Google Ads tag. Collect data for your remarketing list and conversion tracking by adding the Google Ads tag to your website. We're gonna set up the tag, and then we're gonna to go to Only Collect General Website Visit data to show ads to your website visitors. That's what we're trying to achieve. And then you see over here, there's a little bit of a disclaimer, exclude California users for remarketing list if you want to do that. I'm actually not gonna do that. So we're gonna save and continue. All right, so here's the important part. What we're doing right now is we're setting up a tag on our website. So this tag or code or pixel, whatever you wanna call it, is going to be on our website. So anytime that somebody lands on that website, they're gonna be cookied, they're gonna be tracked. So we're able to remarket to them again whenever we're launching our Google Ads. So that's where the remarketing, retargeting comes into play. First, we need a way to capture those people and that is the tag setup. This is a global site tag that we need to install on our website in order to be able to uh, capture that audience again and only serve ads to those people without having to start with a cold audience every single time. So let's go to install our tag ourselves. And then you're gonna see the instructions right here. The global site tag is basically all you're looking for. So you're gonna just copy this right here and you're gonna go to your website. So for our purposes right now, I'm just gonna use ClickFunnels. If you have ClickFunnels, then congratulations. You're gonna see exactly how to do that here. If you don't, you can install this on your WordPress website, on your Wix website, on your Squarespace website. On any, any website that you can think of, you're gonna put that code under the header. So in the header section, so here with ClickFunnels, you, you're gonna go to the settings and type it or uh, copy it. You don't wanna type it. Copy it into the head tracking code right there. Go down here, save an update. So we just installed the Google tag. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to continue you're almost done setting up blah, blah, blah. To make sure your tag is working, check the source status on the audience pages. Make sure that the setup is feed for each vertical you select. All right, so we're done there. And then to make sure that it's working, it already shows some hits, so you're well on your way. What I like to do is I just like to preview it. So I like to have it fire off automatically so, um, so there's no question that it's working. And you can see it's working as well. And you also want to do the uh, Google Tag Assist. All you have to do is enable this. It's a You can't see it real well, so let me try to move this here. So this right here, this will tell you if it's working or not. So it's a Chrome extension. All you have to do is um, Tag Assist by Google. So search for this. It's a, I believe, what's it actually called? Yeah, Google Tag Assist. I don't have it enabled because of the browser, but all you have to do is go to Google Tag Assist on Google and it'll bring you up that uh, that extension. So all you have to do is download it and then you can check if your website is, um, if the tag is working and firing correctly. So at this point, we know that it's working so I don't need to check that. Again, I wanna get us out in a good, reasonable time. So we're gonna go back to Google Ads and then we're gonna go to a new campaign and I'll show you where you need to go in order to call back out the audience. We're actually not gonna go through and create a campaign from scratch today. So we're gonna create a campaign without a goals guidance and we're gonna do a display ad. So create visually appealing ads that serve across the Google Display Network on YouTube and, and on mobile or in app. So here with the display ads, you're being seen everywhere, basically everywhere. There's millions of websites that your ad can potentially show up in display form. So that's what the display is about. Whenever you are doing retargeting ads, you won't be able to select the smart display campaign, at least as of today. So that's something that um, they actually do that for you. So you're not able to select the audience that you need to select in order to run the smart display campaign. So you're going to need to select 
standard display campaign, pick your settings, targeting, and have some automated options. So you're gonna go to continue. Hey, one quick second, I'll let you get right back to the video, but let's make a deal first. Let's make a deal that if you smash that like button in this video right here, I won't retarget you on Google ads, on YouTube ads, Facebook ads, and Instagram ads. Let's make that deal. Again, we're going through the abbreviated version. I'll link up the video that shows you exactly how to create every single thing um, when it comes to Google ads from step A all the way to step Z. But right now, what's more important is that I show you how to set up the retargeting and then show you where to pull this back up over here. So in the audiences, what you're gonna do is go to browse, how they have interacted with your business. You're gonna select that. You're gonna go to website visitors and then all visitors, Google ads. So this right here, um, this is gonna show you, uh, it's gonna remarket to all the people that have visited your page. So that pixel that is installed on your website, you're gonna be serving up ads to those people um, pretty much whenever you launch your ad. So make sure that you that you have the pixel installed. That's the whole purpose of the remarketing and retargeting um, tutorial today. But I'll take it one step further so you see everything that you can do. So let's go to tools and settings one more time. So again, you would just go through um, and create your ad right here. We're not gonna go through that today, but what you can do now is go to the audience manager. Now that you have the tag installed and go right here, go to website visitors, and then you're able to get more specific. Since your tag is already installed on your landing page or website, whatever, uh, whatever uh, software you're using or whatever you're using to market online, you have the ability to get even more molecular with your audiences. So if you only wanted to retarget people that landed on a certain page on your website, you have that ability right here. So I'll repeat where I went to. Went to audience managers, and remember, we went down here to the audience source a couple of seconds ago or minutes ago whenever we installed the tag. Now we are staying at the audience list and we're creating a website visitors and then you can select visitors of a page and match a certain rule group. So this is a great powerful way for you to retarget or remarket to people specifically on wherever they visited your website. Well, now that you know how to do remarketing with Google ads, you'll also want to check out this video that's going to help you out with Google ads even more. And if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make it your best day yet.